Hello everyone and welcome to SUNUP. I'm Lyndall Stout. As producers get their seed in the ground over the next few weeks, there are concerns about weeds, especially coming out of two years of drought. Joining us now is Angela Post, our new Extension Weed Science Specialist. Angela, welcome to Oklahoma State. Yes, thank you, and you're absolutely right. As we come out of this drought, um, we're seeing that over the last two years, um, when our crops were starting to suffer in the summer, we had many producers who abandoned their normal weed management practices. And as they moved into the fall and in the spring, we've seen a lot more seed um, get into the seed bank. And so as we go into planting this fall, there are gonna be concerns for those weeds that we had go into the seed bank. And in terms of weed management with this in mind, what kind of things are producers concerned about and especially this time of year? Yeah, so this time of year we're really thinking about wheat and canola planting. Many um, growers who are going to be uh, planting canola are either already started or have their, their last tillage pass or last burn down um, on the ground for that. And uh, if you haven't already gotten your last burn down on for canola, the only option you really have at this point is a glyphosate application to get those um, fall emerging weeds and what we're really talking about here is mare's tail and some of our fall annual winter annuals grasses. Um, for wheat we still have a little bit of time to get a, a burn down application out or a last tillage pass in if you haven't already and for that we can look at glyphosate plus sharpen or we can also look at uh, glyphosate plus dicamba. Um, dicamba we're getting just a tiny bit late on. Uh, you need 10 days for every quarter pound of active ingredient um, <clears throat> between application and planting time for wheat and so it's important for growers to be thinking about that. Okay and obviously a big question you get is those herbicide resistant weeds. Any advice there? Yeah, so um, especially as you drive around this uh, summer, we're seeing a lot of uh, herbicide resistant mare's tail in our soybean fields. That's gonna also show up in many of our wheat and canola fields. Um, the mare's tail is starting to emerge now. Um, it's also the summer ones are going into seed. And uh, please remember that uh, as I continue in uh, as the extension weed specialist here, we're gonna be continuing our herbicide resistance testing. So if you see that you have a herbicide resistance problem, uh, make sure and plan to collect seed for that and send it in through your area agronomist or your county extension educator um, into our offices so that we can test it for you. Okay, and obviously answer those questions more specifically for the producers. Sure. Okay, Angela Post, our new Extension Weed Science Specialist. We'll see you again soon. Thank you. Thank you.